What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, the Wise United Zero. Oh, just woke up. We're about to finish uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies after so long of playing this game. It's been like three years I've been playing this game, and finally I'll be able to beat it. So, without further ado, let us begin. Where's the booth that the penguin visited the slow stage? Please point it out. And I can see right here, but I pointed at it last time and I got in big trouble. Take that! A couple of pink starfish are shaped a little differently from the others. Oh, you're right. They look almost like little leaves. Rifle had pink paint on the bottom of her feet. These little leaf-like shapes in the sign are actually Rifle's footprints. Rifle made these footprints by walking on the sign before it was dry. Oh, what a cute little pink penguin prints. So there are footprints. What of them? Marlon Rhymes was watching over the sign and the show stays while the paint dried. And during that time, the penguin paid a visit. According to the torpedo data system, we know that Rifle ate something that morning on the 20th. Most likely, Rifle ate the fish meant for Orla that was at the show stage. Orla snack was a small quantity of fish. Even a penguin could have eaten it all. Began Rifle ate Orla's fish. Who be ye to say Rifle ate Orla's fish? She could have picked up food anywhere. But that doesn't change the fact that I really was at the show stage. After all, I had helped move the skull rock. It couldn't have been moved without me. The witness claims he never saw the penguin. How do you explain that contradiction? Both well, Mr. Ryan's rifle went to show stage, but Mr. Ryan's didn't see him. Where well, would Mr. Ryan's have been at the time? But I don't know. If you are up to the task, I can disprove this witness testimony for you. If I leave it to Prosecutor Blackwell, Sasha will be declared guilty. I can't let him interrupt this line of reasoning. Mr. Ryan, let's try to figure out how these look when rifle to came to the show stage. Mr. Ryan's at the show stage, keeping an eye on Orla and the sign. And we know it must be true because he helped move the skull rock. And then Rifle came in and walked over the sign. But wouldn't Mr. Ryan's know his rifle? He'd be right there. Well, let's think about where Mr. Ryan's could have been. Is there a place in the show stage area from which Rifle couldn't? Here? Because there's handprints on him. Take that! What? Inside the pool? But you're right. If it was inside the pool, you wouldn't have noticed Rifle. So you're saying Mr. Ryan's was underwater the whole time while Rifle was eating? No, not underwater. When I think about what he was trying to do, the answer is clear. Now I'm finally starting to get the whole picture. Just like yesterday, must you two always be whispering to each other? Why don't you admit that resorting to a penguin will get you nowhere? Objection! Well, I don't know about that. The fact that Mr. Rhymes didn't notice Rifle is such a small inconsistency. What's the key point that proves what Mr. Rhymes was trying to do? The penguin is a key point. The show stays pulled very deep. If Rifle came to visit while Mr. Rhymes was at the bottom of his pool, we would never notice Rifle. Arr. Orcas can be out of the water for a short time without sustaining damage. But if they're out of the water for a long time, they weaken and eventually die. In order to kill Orla, Mr. Ryan's had to drain the pool. And while the pool was drained of water, Miss Shipley fell to his death. The show stage pool is about 65 feet deep, just like the Orca pool. With that water in the pool, a person could be made to fall 65 feet. Mr. Ryan's probably wondered what to do. If he continued with his plan to kill Orla, how would he dispose of Miss Shipley's butt? So he a plan to kill two birds with one stone. What? How? Mr. Rhymes went down to the bottom of the pool and put the victim's body in the rock. He then had Miss Buckley move the rock and the body together. Silence! And the witness made the defendant do this somehow without arousing her suspicion. That's right, Mr. Shipley told Miss Buckley that she couldn't perform in the new show. Miss Buckley became upset and wanted to switch back to the old version of the show. So Mr. Rhymes' feelings suggested that she take and hide a prop for the new show. Miss Rhymes then manipulated orally using her singing and lifesaver tricks. He skied over to find the body while Mr. Bloom would be standing witness. He sat over Orla with a false charge of murder so that Orla would be put down. Uh, what? Arr. Arr. Ooh. That was weird. The was not see the penguin. Shows that when Rifle was the show stage, Rhymes was putting the body in the rock. At the bottom of the pool, that is. Who would have thought the presence of a penguin could prove the witness action? It's working just a little further now, and Sasha will be proven not guilty. Silence! 
If you think you've won this battle, you are sorely mistaken. Your theory is based on the notion that the witness couldn't manipulate the orca. Witness can control the orca's actions. Of course not. What kind of bills be that? I be put simple animal keeper. My memory serves. Wasn't Miss Buckler the only one who could issue command to the orca? Hmm, the judge's blade is sharper than the lawyer's. If you wish to do battle with the witness, you'll need a horn, horn blade. Where is your sword of evidence that Marlon Rhymes could manipulate the orca? Ah! Rhymes said I have manipulated or in order for his plan to work, but how can I prove it? Well, it appears the line of reasoning has been unsustainable. Objection! Well, it appears that I was mistaken. Uh, Athena? I've analyzed the hearts of all kinds of people. I have enough experience to see when I look into your heart that you haven't given up. For your heart. She's right. Why would I become a lawyer again only to give up? I have to keep fighting. Athena, thank you. With your help, I remember the old right way. The right way? Your Honor, I'm not finished with presenting my argument. Hmm. Do you have anything else to ask this witness? You've cross-examined all the witnesses and presented all your evidence. OBJECTION! All the witnesses? Hmm, I don't think so. I haven't cross-examined the most important one, the central figure in both cases. Central figure? The one involved in not only in a case a year ago, but this current case too. I've never called a witness her witness, but it's time to do so now. What are you talking about? Everybody tell me the court immediately. Defense calls the such trick in both cases, the Orla and the Orca. You intend to cross examine an Orca? I cross examine an Orca, you must be added. That old, the impossible says. Silence! This absurdity is beyond the pale. How do you expect to question an Orca, a creature incapable of speech? Objection! Well, it's intricately involved in the case, I have every right to cross examine her. Besides, even if she can't speak, I think cross examine her would be invaluable. Very well, do what you will then. But if you fail to garner anything from this little exercise with the Orca, I hope you realize the reward for your efforts will be the defendant's guilty verdict. I'm ready and confident. So, across the enemy Orla, huh? That was a bold move, boss. Now all we have to do is figure out how Mr. Rhymes manipulated Orla. That's right, now it's Orla's turn to help us save Sasha. An Orca defendant yesterday, an Orca witness today. This is truly unprecedented. As usual, I'm prepared to allow it. Bailiff, ready to witness telecast. We'll have a ten minute recess while the telecast is being set up. This has to be the end. Leave it to you. Think of something like calling Orla, Mr. Wright. Well, she's the only one who knows all the answers, after all. I just talked to Pearls, and she said Orla seems to be feeling fine. Now we have to try and figure out how Mr. Ryan's manipulated Orla. If we put Mr. Ryan's and Orla together, maybe we can get some kind of clue. I can't figure out about that strange set of prints of Ryan's either. I really appreciate you trying to save Orla and me. I had no idea Marilyn hated Orla like that. I feel like I've been shocked by a torpedo ray. Of course, you want to kill a while that murdered his girlfriend right in front of him. Oh, Mr. Plume, you've been watching the trial? Oh, yes, I came to make a declaration of war. A declaration of war? No matter what you're talking about today's trial, I will report the truth in my new book. Even if that truth goes against what I want, you to kill a while. Well, I don't know what the truth is, not even about what happened a year ago. Dr. Crack. I saw her died right in front of my eyes in the middle of the pirate show. Suddenly fell from the orca's back and began to thrash around in pain. The orca was singing a song and it started headbutting his aura over and over. Finally, the orca took Azura in her mouth and brought her to the side of the pool. Just before she died, Azura was holding her chest in obvious pain. She was holding her chest? Wait a minute, could it be? I don't think Ola was to blame for the incident a year ago either. What? I think the cause of Miss Summer's death might have been her, her heart condition. Her heart condition? What heart condition? I never heard anything about it. Miss Summers had a prescription with Hickfield Clinic for her heart condition. Yorker didn't kill her. I think it's possible her heart condition did. What, Azura had a heart condition too? 
I guess she hid it from everybody just like I did. So that means we all caused this in a year ago too. It's just a theory, but I think the Orca had better deserve to check on her. And then did the lifesaver trick to rescue her. So there was no need to put the Orca down after all. So, you really did intend to put Orla down? No, Jack and I. Or get such a thing from the stat. But you said you were going to euthanize the Orca. Yeah, I've been wondering about that. Dr. Kyle, I love this capsule. It's not a poison, but a sleeping drug, right? That's right, even if Orla attacks someone. Or even if the center for dangerous animals or dementia be put down. I never had any intention of killing her. I would use sleeping pills to make it look like she was dead and then set her free. That's why I purchased so many sleeping capsules. Oh, that's why. I never considered the possibility that poor woman's death was her illness. She seems pretty distant to be I simply want to know the truth. That is why I will tell you tell you who my client is. Dad went to see on his death. I was there at the request of the animal keeper. Marlon Marlon Rhymes. That is cool work. That day my client called me to ask me to investigate the orca pool. He must have wanted you to witness what Marlon was going to do. Why would you decide to tell us this? My designs put my client was standing in the way of truth. I couldn't allow that. I will be watching to see how this all unfolds. Go up to you, blue and yellow duo. <laughs> well, that was quite a bombshell. She just dropped in so casually, too. A woman really is a free spirit. Do you remember what you said yesterday, Mr. Lawyer? That you'd expose any secret if it would help save Sasha? I remember. It's my duty as a lawyer. Well, I just wanted you to know that I don't blame you for exposing the aquarium secret. It may put me in hot water, but if it helps save the orca, let me clue you in on another secret. Focus on the orca's song. The orca's song, huh? What could he be hinting at? Oh, Miss Wright, look like it's time. All right, let's go back in. You've got it, boss. We're going to go in there and save Sasha and Orla together. Sasha. Turn to 11.30 a.m. Courtroom number 5. The courtroom will now reconvene. Well, she'll be calling orders all already. Well, the orca is present, but I highly doubt she understands what's going on. Sweet. Sweet? Oh, oh, just as door blows yesterday. I just seem to remember you being afraid of her on several occasions. Now then, Mr. Wright, how do you propose to cross examine the witness? I intend to have the young lady there with Orla help me. Hello, everyone. That young lady. Didn't I meet her once before, a long time ago? Yes, that's Pearl Faye, my old friend. Well, well, didn't she grow up to be a lovely young lady? Ah! I have no interest in this chit-chat. On with the cross-examination. Mr. Wright, this is all your fault. Why are you dawdling? How is this my fault? The court will now hear the testimony of Aura Shipley. Mr. Wright? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Do you seriously intend to cross-examine the Sorka? Well, she is a quick witness for the defense, after all, sir. Every time you come to my courtroom, you open my eyes to a new way of thinking. It appears this will be another one of those times. Yes, he's giving me the go-ahead. I'd now like to put the witness and Mr. Rhymes together to see how he manipulated the Orca. Hopefully, Orla will have some kind of reaction. Arr, fine by me, but not will happen, I tell ye. Mr. Rhymes was right, nothing happened. I guess I shouldn't have expected it to be easy. Hmm, how did he manipulate her? Right, don't know. I hope you realize that if you can't prove can't, how Rhymes manipulated Orca with this cross exam, your offense will be declared guilty immediately. Yes, I realize that. This is my last chance. I have to figure out how Mr. Rhymes commanded Orla to do her tricks. Please begin your cross examination, Mr. Wright. I could actually communicate with her. This case should be solved in an instant. If we can understand what she's saying, at least we can 